today we're going to be learning how to draw a bird. Let's get started. In this lesson, we'll be learning to draw an egret from a photograph. I love birds. And did you know that egrets can actually live to be over 20 years old? That's a fun fact. So let's get started. Remember, you don't have to work with me at this point. I just want to point out the shapes that com comprise this image. So we're going to start off with a simple oval for the body. Remember, working big to small. And then I like to find the head. The reason is I like to connect the head to the body. And by knowing where each of those are, you can get the neck in easily. Let's start there. And then there. Then we have that tail feather, which is kind of like a triangle. And you know, I see kind of another shape in here. Kind of puffs out, maybe a line in there. Next, I'm gonna get these legs. I see an oval where the muscle is on this side of the body. And then the legs coming down into the water. Just two parallel lines. Finally, that beak is a nice long skinny triangle and the eye, a little circle. So I think those are our simple shapes. Let's get started on the drawing. So when we get started again, I'm gonna start with the first shape, which is that oval. Now I'm gonna have it a little bit towards the bottom because remember that neck is tall and we're gonna add it towards the top. So that first shape is gonna be somewhere in here. Notice how I like to draw light and sometimes it takes me a couple times to get the shape that I want. Next, I'm gonna move on to that head. It's got a long neck, so we're gonna start that oval up here. If you compare it, it kinda of hits the body right in here, so the head is gonna be just about in here. I'm gonna connect that head to the body by having a line start here, and it stops kind of on the back of the body right there. And you have a slight S curve. The other side of the neck starts on the head right about here and touches the body sort of in the front. And again, we're gonna have a slight S curve. Next, I'm gonna get in that tail feather. Notice how it's a, it was a triangle, but I'm gonna have it come from here and come down. Next, I wanna get in that muscle tone of the leg. Oh, and we had that little extra part of the body there. And finally, the legs. One little trick is to draw a line where the legs hit the, the water, and then you'll know where to stop those parallel lines. Finally, we have that long beak coming out in here, and the eye. So next we're gonna get in the details, but first I wanna erase these lines so we can really see what's going on. I'm gonna take those off. And I'm gonna start erasing some lines. So for instance, in the head, you wouldn't see this line here. You don't see this line. You don't see this line. Right here. And I'm gonna soften that oval of the muscle tone. Also in here. So I'm going to start getting in some of the texture kind of of the feathers in here. The muscle tone kind of leads into the leg here. This leg is in front, so you wanna have it be a little bit more prominent. You, you don't see that line. Remember the leg on the other side of the body would stop right there. You might find a few little lines in the feathers here. I am going to find this detail in the beak. Kind of comes from the eye. There's a line in the middle of the beak. You know what, I'm gonna have the head come up a little bit higher. Remember, you can always adjust your picture. No one's perfect. You're not gonna get it perfect the first time. I'm gonna get a little pupil in that eye have the beak 
Notice how it kind of comes into the eye there. And there's a few feathers down in here. You could add a horizon line back here. It's a very slight one. If you're gonna color it in, it's nice to have that line. And you can find all those shades in the background. Feel free to color in, have fun with it. Leave it as a pencil drawing if you wish, or um, use some other medium like crayon, colored pencils, markers, have fun. Thanks for working with me today.